Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got a package opening over here from Amazon. Uh, this is something uh, kind of bought on the spur of the moment. I haven't really been thinking about purchasing uh, something like this in a very, very long time. It's just the last few days um, that has actually come to me. And a few days ago, I think on what was it, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday is when I actually placed the order on Amazon India. And uh, the package was delivered this afternoon. I am just opening it up now. Um, and it is a DVD version, the, uh, what you might call it, the PC version of, again, yes, it is again, of FIFA 21. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is my first game unbo uh, unboxing, un package opening um, for a game in the channel. And probably this might be uh, the one of only maybe one or two. I'm not planning on buying too many um, of these because, to be honest, I don't really play that many games yet <laughs> for a very long time. Um, all right, so let me tell you a little bit about uh, video games and myself. Um, when I was young, I must have been uh, maybe like eight or nine years old. I think nine. Uh, my my dad bought for me and my sister. Uh, we were living in Kuwait at the time, an Atari game. Um, this was in the 80s, late 80s. And um, we got this, um, and it had these, um, uh, I think they called them consoles and stuff. You had these games that were this, this kind of track, and you plugged it in, and then you started playing these games, of course. So we had things like, uh, I think there was a bowling game, there was something called, um, something where you hop over ice blocks or something like that and try to cross, and things like that, you gather points. Um, something like a space raider but was more like a uh, like an f-14 or f-16 fighter jet uh, fighting killing like you know shooting um, the enemy um, ships submarines uh, air aircraft and all that stuff um, and a few more which I can't really remember right now but because it's been such a long time that old um, yeah so we had that for a few years we brought it to India when we moved and uh, unfortunately by the time I was like 15 or 14 or 15 it died and we couldn't get anybody to get it fixed over here. Uh, fast forward a few years to me being 19 got my first PC uh, the clunky uh, monitor and um, when I bought the PC we had a couple they gave us a couple of games um, one being one was like the shooter jet with the um, and all that stuff it's like got a it was a demo version basically but it wasn't very good uh, the other one was a cricket game uh, with the full disc i don't remember what it was called um, my cousin and i uh suraj my cousin and i we played that quite a lot we used to play it quite uh, with uh, you know like to the late hours of the night and all that stuff or the early hours of the morning is more accurate um, we played that quite a lot because he was over here for quite a while during that those years and um, after that, um, like, you know, I bought a lot of PC magazines, uh, PC World India, PC something, something, something else, several stuff. They used to give these, uh, um, you know, DVD ROMs or whatever, so DV, uh, sorry, what do you call them? CD ROMs. Uh, it was a long time. CD ROMs that you get along with the magazine, which would have um, demo versions of some software that you can try out before you buy. And they would also have demo versions of a lot of games, and in some cases, it would be the full version of the games. And I used to buy a lot of these magazines, and I used to try to play all the games in it. Um, mainly, I was looking for things like tennis, um, football, of course. Um, I remember something called Wacky Wheels, <laughs> which my couple of my younger cousins, uh, I must have been like 11, and this was like maybe a couple of years later, when I was around 21. My cousins were like 11 and 9 years old, or 11 and 8. And they loved this game so much, they used to play, can we play Wacky Wheels, can we play Wacky Wheels, is what they used to say. Um, and uh, I did remember getting a couple of football games, um, and of course Doom, the OG. That Doom and Duke Nukem, I used to love those game a lot, good games a lot. Um, I even remember when I was playing, uh, like you know, once I, when my, those two young cousins were at home with me, um, one guy is Sri Harshan, the other guy's name is Ashwin. <laughs> um, I haven't seen them in ages. I remember, um, you know, when they asked me, can they play the game? And I was thinking, like, they're too young for this game. So I said, I'll play this. Um, you can watch. 
and there's some sort of scary stuff in between. So I remember one night after dinner, um, must have been around 11 o'clock at night, um, they were at my house for about a couple of weeks and um, I let them play everything else but I didn't let them play Duke Nukem. I didn't want them to play, see Duke Nukem and I didn't play, let them play um, Duke. But I would play the game and I would they, could, they would sit and watch with me and they would tell me, get that guy, get this creature and all that stuff. But I realized it was actually kind of scary for kids. <laughs> At, at that time, okay, nobody's going to get scared of it now. But funniest part is when I used to go to the, when I used to have to go to the loo in between, they were like, um, "Are you leaving us here alone? Take us with you." And I'm like, "Dude, I need to go to the bathroom to pee." I said, "Doesn't matter. We got to come with you." I said, "No, stay here. Nothing's going to happen to you guys." Uh, memories of uh, uh, era gone by, I'm sure I would say. But yeah, and um, after that, um, a few years, maybe around that same time, of course. I went to this uh, bookstore that had some uh, video games in it and they had FIFA 95. Uh, they didn't have any version after that but they had FIFA 95 and NHL 95 and at different times of the of the month I went and bought both of them and I played the heck out of FIFA uh, especially FIFA NHL I did play a few times um, oh, maybe I got that l uh, much later I guess but FIFA 95 I remember getting that and I played the heck out of it. I used to have tournaments when I was like sitting at home bored on the weekends. I would play, 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 play. Um, the only times I would stop playing on some of those days were to go downstairs for meals and to, you know, play with my dog. Let the dog out loose. I had a dog at that time. Uh, let her loose, uh, make, let her go for a walk, feed her and all those kind of things. But otherwise I would be engrossed in the games. So, um, yeah, I was a big time fan of, and that's the only game that I've actually had. Uh, I forgot to mention that the same cousins, they had a Sega, um, and uh, they would play, a lot of us would play this in tournaments during one particular summer. I think I must have been on 21 at the time, I guess. Yeah, and we used to play this uh, a lot, but 95 is the one, I think it is 95. I had that for a while. I can't find it. I remember uh, I had it in my old house, 2006 we moved over here, and I don't know, I must have lost it in packaging or something like that. Maybe it's somewhere stuck in, um, who knows. <laughs> so I've never played any games on my desktop PC. Or I think I did play the NHL on my desktop. But it has been ages since I've played. Um, I haven't been playing any games at all. I am 45, like, you know, I'm getting old. So, um, uh, and uh, for the longest time, yeah, I haven't been playing any games. The only, I mean, on, on my laptop uh, or my desktop. The only games I've been playing is on my phone and that is like normally it is tennis or bowling. That's it. But now, fever is back. So on a whim, while in recovery, I thought, let me see what it costs. So this is actually 3,999. It's almost 4,000 rupees. But there's an offer on Amazon right now. And I got this for half the price, so 2,000 rupees. It's not bad. And uh, I was looking for FIFA 22, but uh, I couldn't find uh, that at a decent price, so nah, I don't really care about the version. I'll buy this, and this will do me well for the next few years. Yeah, uh, at least for the next few years. So I am actually happy about that. Um, that's my, uh, sorry, I mean, I've actually been rambling quite a bit and haven't even opened up this yet. So we got Kylian Mbappe on the uh, front. Paris Saint-Germain and France International. Yeah, that's how you say it. You say France International. Uh, but yeah, you can also call him a French international player. But he plays for the French uh, national side and he also plays for Paris Saint-Germain, PSG. So that's the front of the disc. Oh, sorry, the case, the cover, that's the back. Right, so this is for the PC version. I don't have anything else, so I'm going to play it on my laptop. Could probably cast it onto my uh, TV screen, but I'm not really sure. So it's got three discs installing the game, all that is there. I'll probably do it tomorrow, it's kind of late now. I've got three DVDs, my goodness. So I need to make sure I have enough space on my laptop to install this. Yeah, so if you want to see, it's got three of these inside. I'm not going to open up all of them. So I just want to show you what it is. Uh, performance tips, uh, starting the game, warning. Uh, that's basically it. I will check it out tomorrow. 
<laughs> Sunday will be uh, football, football, football. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to this. Um, but to be honest, I don't know, really know how many. I probably only played on the weekday, weekdays, uh, sorry, weekends and days off. Okay, FIFA 21, here's a looking at you. Bye guys.